Hello people! In this video I will talk about a game very similar to Spyro. Actually it was thanks to this game that I started playing Spyro later in PlayStation 2. The name of this game is Muppet Monster Adventure and is for PlayStation 1. Just like Spyro, Muppet Monster Adventure is divided into levels. There are also boss battles Some of the collectibles are coins with the face of different characters and after you get 4 coins with the same face of one character, you win a power. These powers are gliding, swimming, Climbing, pushing heavy blocks, and breaking some walls. Collectibles are one of the most obvious signs that this game was inspired by Spyro. In this game we collect colored stars instead of diamonds, and each color has a different value in both games. These stars have to be collected to unlock levels. And to unlock boss battles you need to get some golden heads shaped like Kermit's face. Sometimes to catch those golden heads we have to chase rats that run away from us. Which immediately remind me of spiral annoying thieves. I hate them. I honestly don't remember any other game that has this type of characters. In this game, the protagonist, who is named Robin, has two attacks, a glove with a laser and spins like Crash Bandicoot. Spyro also only has two attacks in the games, using the horns and the fire that expels through his mouth. There's also enemies you can only kill if you use the laser, and then there are other enemies that only die if you spin. And that also happens with the spiral while using some of them you have to use the fire and others only die if you use your horns. Another thing in common is the challenges or minigames where you earn rewards. In this game you win the frog heads. In the spiral it depends of the game. There's one for example that you get dragon eggs. As in Spyro, there are also secret areas to make you insane when you look in every place and you are still missing collectibles. The story of this game starts with the characters going on vacation. They end up in the castle that seems to be haunted and they all end up turning into monsters, with the exception of Robin, who is Kermit's nephew, and also Pepe and the scientists. With the help of Pepe and the scientists, Robin will try to save Gonzo, Kermit, Miss Piggy and Fozzie by turning them normal again. The soundtrack is cool, but the musics are very repetitive. And also other two things that I wanted to say about the game is that Robin can run really fast, just like Spyro. And the other thing is the fact that both Robin and Spyro use portals to go to each level. If you don't mind the graphics of PlayStation 1, you will definitely like this game. Do you also agree that this game copied Spyro? Do you know more games that are similar to Spyro? Say it in the comments. Also, don't forget to like the video and to subscribe. Until next time, bye bye!